Thank you. Shukran, um, uh, Imam Jalo. Bishop, you have the floor, please. Thank you, Chairman. In the name of the Blessed Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, gracious and eternal Father of the nation, the Gambia, we continue to thank you for your love, your protection, your divine mercy and healing over this nation, the Gambia, during uh, this period of COVID-19. You have been with us throughout this period and you continue to be with us, to aid us, to take us to heights and the proper heights where we ought to be. And we continue to ask us, we continue to observe social distances and all the necessary health remedies that you will keep this nation healthy. And we continue to ask for the TRRC as we reopen our public hearings today. We pray for all who will be coming before the commission to testify, that you will grant them to be able to speak the truth, and you grant the commission the designing spirit to decipher between truth and falsehood, knowing that you are the ultimate judge the one who will come to judge the acts of all humankind. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Bishop. Um, before we continue, I will read a, a short statement uh, on behalf of uh, the Commission. On 29 April 2020, on behalf of the Commissioners, I presented them to the Attorney General and the Minister of Justice the interim report of the Commission for transmittal to the President. It would be recalled that pursuant to Section 144A of the TRRC Act 2017, the Commission is required, after one year of its establishment, to submit to the President of the Republic of the Gambia, an interim report detailing its activities. The interim report accordingly focused only on the activities of the TRRC during the first 12 months of its existence. It did not contain any findings or recommendations. These would be made in the final report of um, uh, the Commission. On Tuesday, March 18, 2002, only two days into our 13th session, the TRRC suspended its public hearings. During that session, only two witnesses appeared before the Commission. The total number of witnesses appearing before the Commission since the commencement of uh, the public hearings on January 7, 2019, is now 219. The witnesses included 40 women, sorry, 54 women, 40 perpetrators, alleged perpetrators, and adversely mentioned persons, as well as some, some expert witnesses. 25 Gambian diaspora witnesses had also testified via video link. This 14th summer session, which we start today, will begin with institutional hearings on uh, the prison system and uh, the violations of the rights of inmates and uh, detainees. The outbreak of the uh, coronavirus uh, pandemic brought normal life to a grinding halt around the world. The government of the Gambia, like other governments, instituted a lockdown and ordered observance of measures relating to public gatherings, public health regulations, and the social distancing uh, protocols. After nearly 12 weeks of, of, of observing the lockdown measures, 
and uh, not knowing how long the state of the emergency state of emergency declared by the government would last the commission consulted and received guidance from the minister of justice with a view to exploring the possibility of the commission resuming its uh, public hearings <coughs> we all agreed that the public hearings summer could resume with the understanding that the relevant public regulations and social distancing norms uh, will continue uh, to be observed. While we self-isolated during the lockdown, the TRRC continued work, albeit in a limited way, on the interest of, uh, interest of and matters relating to the victims of the Jame uh, era. Our victim support and the research and investigations units were particularly active during the lockdown, registering and collecting statements from witnesses and offering continued support to those victims who need it. These victims could not and will not be forgotten. Some have come before the commission to narrate their suffering at the hands of the agents of the state. Their narratives symbolize the experience endured by many others who could not, for one reason or another, uh, come to testify before the commission. This is the unfortunate recent history of the Gambia that we all have had to come to terms with. The TRRC will remain a victim-centered institution. It would not have come into existence without the victims. We cannot betray their hopes and expectations for a new Gambia free from fear, injustice, and the horrors inflicted on the Gambian people by the Jami regime. We are aware that the public is keenly interested in the Commission's work on reparations. As of now, the TRRC continues to offer interim reparations in the form of livelihood support, medical and educational assistance, and employment opportunities to victims. The Victim Support Unit is also working closely with the Reparations Summer Committee to offer continued support to the victims currently in Turkey for medical treatment. Meanwhile, the Commission is doing all it can to ensure that work on the reparations rules and regulations is expedited and that uh, monetary reparations are uh, rolled out as soon as possible. At this point, we wish to remind the public that the main themes remaining on the Commission's work plan, including, you will recall that we had indicated this uh, uh, during the last session, they include the following. One, the former president's um, HIV, AIDS, um, and other diseases alternative treatment program. Two, enforced um, disappearances. Three, <coughs> the case of the 44 Ghanaians and other West African migrants who were killed in the Gambia in July 2005. Four, the April 2016 incidents involving the NIA and resulting in the death in custody of UDP member Solo Sunday. Five, institutional hearings on the National Intelligence Agency, NIA, the Judiciary, the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency. Six, additional hearings on sexual and gender-based violence. And seven, the Junglers uh, Part Two. In view of the loss of um, uh, 
two weeks of public hearings as a result of um, the lockdown. The Commission intends to conclude its summer um, public hearings during the last rather than the first week of um, uh, October. And as and when required, occasional public hearings may be convened as uh, work proceeds on the final report. Finally, the TRRC continues to call upon all victims and all witnesses with important information to please come forward and share their uh, stories. While not all witnesses who give statements can testify, every statement collected will assist us in producing a true historical record of um, human rights violations that occurred in this country between July 1994 and uh, January 2017. As usual, we begin this 14th session by seeking the continued blessings and the support of the public. Thank you very much. That's the end of the statement on behalf of the commissioners. Council, are we ready with this morning's witness? If we are, please proceed. Uh, good morning, Mr. Chairman, commissioners, um, members of the audience here present. Um, uh, we are, as usual, ready to proceed and the witness is being ushered in. Um, even though uh, this witness may want to speak in English, uh, I would ask that we also have Mandinka interpretation, uh, not just for him, but uh, also for a lot of the uh, Gambian public who are at home and watching on television. And, and perhaps uh, maybe we would uh, alternate languages uh, I, whenever the witness intends to speak in the English language. Um, as is seen here, most of the staff, people present here, apart from uh, the core staff of the TRRC, are also support staff who are relevant and important to, to this hearing. So there is no public or public audience as such being present here. Uh, so everybody would be watching from the televisions and perhaps for that reason too we can have interpretation in the, in the uh, Mandinka language for today. Uh, the witness is being ushered in at the moment, Mr. Chair. Thank you. I and Sumana Mane. I and Sumana Mane. Do swear that. Do swear that. I'll speak the truth. I will speak the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Uh, please be seated, Mr. Witness. And welcome to the TRRC. Uh, Mr. Chair. May I be TRRC. Mr. Chair, as indicated in your opening statement, we are taking a new theme this morning, uh, which, is, which is the institutional hearing uh, on the Gambia Prison Authority. Um, and that is why we are having uh, our first witness today, who is the, who is the Commissioner General or Director General of the Prison. Uh, uh, welcome, sir, to the TRRC. Bismillah, TRRC. Thank you. As, as I would do with most witnesses, uh, we would inform them of the basic rules. There is an obligation on the part of all witnesses to speak the truth before the commission. Uh, any false statement uttered here, especially a statement on the oath, uh, 
would attract uh, a criminal sanction. Uh, the, the, it, would, it is a criminal offense under the laws of this country to lie on the oath or to lie before the commission. Kuma so any such uh, conduct would attract uh, a sanction. Kuma soto bali wo, kuma soto bali fota jang. Wamukule ti meni sarto lumanta nyola. Andungu ya sabu, puru ye kali yena kuma soto balo fo kali wo kono, kule moti me ya lonko, aning banko lua lumanta nyola woto momondi yo baroke, isa lonko ase keno ye kuluro leka ng lua la karola ko sarto liya itandi nyami. Uh, of, of course, uh, it goes without saying that we expect that you would speak the truth and the whole truth. Amboto jiko balako, ibe tonya le fola, andu ibe tonya da manne fola. Once again, welcome. Kota ke, mbe bismillandi la tiara arsi. And uh, uh, let me just give you a brief outline of what I would wish to discuss with you before Batunga. you start formally testifying. Mbatu nga itandi la mbe la fila na kachabe tara, tara mbulo mena nga aboye nyoto, janimbe dun na diamonyi nkono follow. Uh, yes, first of all, I would like to talk about your background, that is your education and your progression in the force. Follow, follow, me la fila pour kete fong la kibaro banke, wele ila du kuo, ipala asolu bulata nyono ma nyaming, ila du kuo tamata nyaming, ila du kuo bunda kono. The structure of the prison service. And in prison du kuo bunda, wele mkaso du kuo bunda la kulu belari nyono ma nyaming. Uh, the procedures for admission of people into the prison. Uh, the purposes of prisons and how the prison has been discharging that responsibility. That is the issue of rehabilitation. Rehabilitation. And then we go into the core issues, which is the prisons, the problems uh, that existed in the prisons between 1994 and December 2016, or better still, January 2017. Kole ya kolu menu soto ntakaso doku bundala, kolu lata je nyaming, kadamuta 1994, July kana hanifo 2016, December wala January karo kono 2017 sango kono, wawuche o kachabe kela walela. And uh, amongst the problems uh, we would discuss include the following. Uh, one is the use of the prison as punishment. Follow, follow, kakasoke mo, mo, tora bundati, kamulu kuluke tora. Against political opponents. Many alonko ulumu politiko nyo sabanyo leti. Uh, the denial of medical attention. Aning ikamolu bali jara rola dalilo lumenu kang kasola. Tribalism within the prison service. Aning ikasifatam fanso men tamandi kaso bunda lula. The use of the security wing uh, and uh, for, to punish prisoners and the bad conditions of that wing. Bunda me kafai security wing wole mtankada bunda membe kaso kono. Aning ika mantoro me la mulu kangu bunda la puruke kijote. The poor diet of aning, the prisons. Aning domori saharin sotobali ya kaso kono. And the theft by prison officers of the rations that are meant for prisons, prisoners. Aning kaso lankola domoro nyanta kela meniti. Kaso la bunda la kantarla nindu kulalu menu kawo domori fengu lusunya. The conditions of the cells. Aning selo lwe kamolu dundi wo sel bungu lumenu kono gulu betara nya fosa momento. And that is for both remand, security wing, and, and, sorry, the general, the general listing. How do you call it again? The, the main yard. Abu wale mnyinti eka molu dundi damento wale msecurity wing tankada bunda nyingi ebe nyaming aning kasola bunda kono fanumba nyingi jamaa kasola nka jamaa lu nyantatara la damento ulube tara nyamento The torture of inmates Aning eka tajiria ya menke kasola nkolula bungo kono jie The 
unlawful discrimination against female prison officers amin kaso la musudo kulalu e ka fatam fansi klimbali amen fananta mandi wolu kan ila do ko kono and deaths in the prisons amin sayalu meluke ka kaso bundala and finally amin labango uh, the low caliber of prison officers kaso la do kulalu men yalon ko wolem kantar lalti kaso la wul nata ke moluti men yalon ko ila makamulu doyata bake and uh, in closing if you wish you can give us points you uh, about things you recommendations you may have to improve the conditions in the prisons for institutional reform as well ko bandulato ete finance kuma kangulu fo isiya marolu dinole falingulu men yalon ko inyanta kala menusi bete ya kadinkira nyim fisiandi ka bondi e tinya dato ka londi silolu kam men yalon ko kaso nyanta tarla wole nyama ete finance o ya marolu dinole men si kaso bunda la kulu fanalu nyinyandi ka betandi ko kaso nyanta tarla nyamin ready to proceed saying i pare tele ka tentem bang yes It's, yeah. a, it's a long list in which language would you like to testify bella fila kadia mo kanjumato feel free to choose whatever language vernacular or english language it wouldn't matter to us ka wo kan dia te sidia mo wala angale kango nam banko kango kango kam sono ya te te fedro speak in the language which you believe your testimony would make your testimony most meaningful to the people kam fo me yalon ko wala baye tandila ila cdro molu sa faham asi dalila soto molie asi na fa soto molie ya long ya long ikam info then i think uh, i need to speak to mandinka because most of the audience viewing me right now most of them i can say are illiterate so it will be better for me to speak in vernacular bitu ako nyina be dia la ay dia mo mandinga kamoto ka to juuber la lu men siata nyin tembeng e wol be mandinga kamo moyla le woto be dia la ay pray dia mo mandinga kamoto perfect welcome mr witness lead council koy bismillah sedo can you tell us your full names please ito ani konto mo fonyen to mo ansumana maneleti aka to mo ansumana maneleti his name he said his name is ansumana mane Uh, 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 well because of the change uh, in uh, our arrangements the interpreters are making the adjustments so we just allow them a few seconds and they should be ready Um, thank you very much. Uh, so, could you again tell us your full names, please? Saying isito nikon, isito nikon tongo fonyeng. Tomo ansumana mane ready. My name is ansumana mane. Uh, what is your date and place of birth? Elulu alaya ke ulu tas lunju male sanju ma ani ulu tas sate ju male to. Ulu ta e. Eh, August Carol Tilton Lulu 1970 Wuluta Kombola Menle I was born on the 15th of August at Kombola Men 1970 in Kombola Men um, thank you very much and kindly give us your educational background just very briefly please Asuti yandi bari ila karangol londo ya dati minto le foy nata dan daming asuti yandi do yow fanam fonye Uh, nga kango kuma ci la men combo la men le fa ngoto saint peter's primary school i started my schooling at uh, combo la men at saint peter's primary school what what to 1977 in 1977 rafo 1983 up till 1983 a uh, common entrance it i uh, took the common entrance nada ta brikama secondary wo sam kile wala and then i proceeded to the brikama secondary school Be in that same year nga sangina ni ko do nga secondary education a secondary for living certificate examination okay i spent four years there and i got my secondary for living certificate then 1988 then in 1988 nara ta ka sa e do ko ngi ni gambia prison service 
I sought employment at the Gambia Prison Service. And could you kindly tell us briefly your progression within the prison service? Saying a fonyen ku sutundrong ila pala solu bulata nyono manyaming kasodo ku bunda la bridunda je. Training ke November on the first of November kara for almost a March 1989 kono. We started our training from the first of November to March in 1989. After we passed out, we were posted. And I started my work at uh, Mile 2 Central Prisons. I spent one year working uh, on general duties. And after that, I was taken for an adult literacy program at the World Evangelical Mission. I was there and I was teaching the prisoners the local languages, Mandinka. I spent a couple of years there. Then I was moved to the reception. Reception of the Dami along with all the personal admit, personal unda wala nasa na wala kaya admit. Reception is the place where uh, prisoners are admitted when they are brought in. Nimpana nim personal base kam fana ito wala kaya ila kaya ito today. And when prisoners have been released, they also prepare their documents. Personal bagasul fana ito wala kaya amare. And also the belongings of the prisoners they handle that. Be o to nga sangi dan tam soto fana to. I was there for a couple of years. Then I was transferred to Makati to handle the reception there. I had four years there. Then I returned back to Mile 2. When I returned, uh, my immediate superior was moved to Janjambure. So I took charge of the place for a number of years. I was there and in 1999. The Children's prison at the, the just one called the juvenile wing. They started it. An examination took place, and I was amongst those that passed, and I was taken there. I think from 1999 up till 2010, I was there. Uh, yes. And uh, your ranks, how did you progress to become Director General or Commissioner General? Saying, Ilama Kamulu, Ibulata knew no manyadi le hanfo inatake, Commissioner General to Walla Director General Kasodo Kubundala. Jarda Tambian promotion to the Langakuma se Kabirin Kopul. I went through promotions beginning with Cobral. 1995, I had my Cobral promotions in 1995. I beg your pardon, it was in 1994 when I became a Cobral. Then he not to be And then I was promoted to a sergeant, but all this while I was still in Makati. Bora makali na sana mile to bring kera inchayo tige na a reception auto yena yenge sub inspector di volume PO di principal officer. When I returned from Makati to the reception, I was promoted as sub inspector. Be auto bring bora giro nara nara amamme nara yem promote kore yenge to a senior principal officer volume inspector di. Then uh, thereafter, long, not long after, I was promoted to senior prison officer. Then, more in college, in that time, I was promoted to junior officer. It was there that I went to the juvenile wing. That I'm promoted, and we call our courses. Jamal, like me, I long ago they are in junior officer. Maral Nyale, Tata Nyola. Thereafter, I was promoted again. But uh, after that, we had several courses, which had to do with. Uh, uh, issues regarding bordering on juvenile detention. Social welfare, training Jamal from conduct. 
the social welfare department conducted a lot of trainings and the work on along a vso british charity organization along a began to be voluntary service overseas it was uh, during that time that uh, the VSO, which is a, a British charitable organization, voluntary Nara, service organization, in a response to GTTI, a one-year course, zero. Sponsored me, and I went to the GTTI for a one-year program. I am able to get on promotion to the So that was how my promotions went. Obrimbe juvenile wing in 2010. When I was at the juvenile wing in 2010. Otomo mile two year head. Head office Kuto Yeleta. At that time, the new head office at Mile 2 was opened. In that time, when the juvenile we in Samba Mile 2, go to be a, a, a commissioner of a administration. I was uh, uh, removed from, uh, I was moved from the juvenile wing back to Mile 2 to become the commissioner of administration. I was there until. What he, Kono Nkabo Eka Yembondi Jedi and Samba a security wing mile to a security wing Damia Lonko, Long Casola Bunda Fanado, Timia Lonka mile to Kono Yero. I was there for some time and then I was uh, posted to the security wing within mile two. Me Oto Nawati the Danke Jedo, Nataboji and Samba Joshua Kata Marajela Kotenke. I spent uh, some time there and then I was moved again to Joshua to head the prison there. Me Joshua 2015, Yembondi Jedo, Yen Samba Ministry of Interior as staff officer. I was there, but in 2015, I was taken to the Ministry of Interior as a staff officer. And that was where I was until the change of government. That was where I got my letter of appointment that I was to go and take charge of the Gambia prisons. As, as what? As Palasi Juma, Director General. As the Director General. Yeah, and Mr. Mani, uh, with that, you would agree with me that you have worked in uh, almost all the most important sectors of the Gambia Prison Service, correct? Mr. Mani, between the person and the court, any member sat at the time when you attend the court, Casola Bunda Lube, Itambita Bunda, Jamal Lela Fidea Bunda Lube Male, Gambia La Caso Doku Bundala. Hari. Yes. And uh, also, uh, you worked in the prison system uh, between continuously, without interruption, between 1994 and January 2017. Correct. Amunta Kadamuta 1994, kana January 2017. Amunta ite do kuwa kele katenten do kuwa la kasola limbunda lubela banko kanyang. For what we na mbora gito dara interior. Yes, except the time that I was uh, moved to the Interior Department. Uh, but even while at the Interior Department, you were a staff officer there representing the prison service, correct? Another Samba Interior, but I do call a wire staff officer to Barahanimbi, Ibelorin Kaso Bundala Fanana do Kuna. A Tolian Samba Yale coming staff officer, but in the latter, in the latter, you know, in the Mantra Marlin Prison Slakula, can't they? In the Samba Yale Kajako coming. I was taken there as a staff officer, but I was not in charge of the prisons. My, my uh, going there was just to isolate me. It's like they did not want me, and they used that as a ploy to get me out of the way. Uh, we would come to that issue, but from what you have said, you have worked all your working life at the Gambia Prison Service. Mbina otole nyato nto domandi mbari bituna munta ete ila duku menke ila balu duktaru palaso mume ubeto aketa kasola duku bundale kuna. Ha. Yes. Uh, would I be correct to say therefore that you are, you, you are one of the most experienced and one of the most knowledgeable about the Gambia prisons and the prison service? Woto nsenyu mfono leko. Menu ya duko kije ite ite mu mole tume ya longo yilondi sahari nsoto andu yefaha murofa na nsoto gambia la kaso duko bunda la katambi modolu beti meni ya longo ya duko ke kaso la karol. Yes, that could be. Uh, well, sir, could you tell us uh, what is the understanding of the officers and staff of the Gambia Prison Service? as to the purposes or the reasons for imprisonment. Isafo no nyele, fo, 
do kulalu men be kasola karo ile la faha muro mumuneti kaso do ko fango la kunya lu kaso fango adalilo mumenti ite la faha muro mumenti foy si fe fono nyele jeba ante la faha muro do ngamil lon kasola my understanding about prisons olo ngi de coming mo 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 ya lon ko eni loi for da nyoko is that anyone that is in violation of the law ru loi la kuluro selay kan the law will uh, take its course on you ni alaman ne man ta ben foyi samba kaso to if you are unfortunate you will get to prison ila kaso kono gero comme sin di misa yemin ke e ana be kala silal ti miya lan ko silo miya lan ko abitani hada maya silo la the prison will make you uh, regretful of what you have committed committed and also it should be done in a humane way Uh, I, I understand what you've said, um, but what I was trying to drive at is what is the understanding of the Gambia Prison Service as to the real purpose, the real reasons people are sent to prison, or what is prison to do for them or for the society? <laughs> bare bitu lafta futala dame wolam nyinti ko kaso fango dalilo mu muneti wolam nyinti menu ye menu mutaye sambaje kaso nyanta mune kela woliye la taraje nyanta mune kela woliye ila fahamro ni la londo to mune ya kendi ibe tar la kaso la fojan ni be bolaje ni la kolu nyanta la la nyadi le kaso la a kaso ndela understanding don namiro to kaso nyanta kela yame wolo nyinti ko mo mo ta rage to The, my understanding of the prison is that anyone that goes there anyone that goes in there and comes out and must be someone that has changed and uh, the way that should happen is that there ought to be programs in the prison and the If you look at it most of the inmates are people who are not very knowledgeable uh, from what you have said uh, at this debate that's been interpreted you suggesting that prison should be an institution that would help inmates to change uh, to change in which way amunda ila ko moy may tan wala nyinti ko ni molu nati kasola ni be finta la nyanta kala moleti melnu falinta wo falingo say mum falinya fason ne moti falingo fanna jamal le bigeto there are different ways that this change can take place dol bigeto say ma ko no ko min ka metodi la some you may assist them and train them to have skills dol bigeto say ma ko ne le ko min ila mirol kenya say ma ko ne le ke falinye you can also help others by helping to change the way they think ol be ngenda sorra ka soko le ka do ko amanke ka foko hadama di ngobele timata you cannot you should, all of those things should have to be in prison because it's not every human being that is uh, perfect in a sense the the prisons is to help reform and rehabilitate the inmates to so that they may be taken back to society as better people better individuals is that what you saying amunda ila kuma ko to munyene de ko kaso ka nyine ke molie ni menta ta je foy be bolaje wato be ngo mari nyanta falinna le pour na muruta nan jama molu kono asike moti men hadama ya beteya ta ka fisya ka tambi nunto abe nyaming satara sayin a falinta asidu jama kono ani jama molie ka nyan satara ak marie hadama ya kulu fanalu long ola fa mo prison la moto ti that is the motto of the prisons but in reality bari na abe keri nyaming between 1994 and january 2017 1994 in january 2017 tema was the gambia prisons the central prisons or the prison system organized in a way to produce those results we talked about reform and rehabilitation amunta ko ay wuci mom foten kabo january 19 kabo 1994 kana 2017 january 
ko ya fota nyamin kaso dum gambia kaso ibe larin wala nyama bang ila ko lobe tama kan wala nyama bang fa be nyadi amantara wala nyama it wasn't like that why do you say that selam munan na yow fo kadu ko program de tigedo min sad na ko isa sugindi wala ka fa ko ni program pour ka e in me sol ma ko e lom pour ni fundi da sini so me se keno e fam ma ko e lati a program o tenu geno because there was no such program which you can associate with that which you can say that this is a program which is intended to assist the inmates so that when they leave they would become independent people adunga kalamuda wato me na be commissioner of administration yala i can recall while i was commissioner of administration Uh, institution of the Kafai Insight Training Center. There is an institution called Insight Training Center. Sina jama ikana former director ika approach. On many occasions, they approached my former director. Puru ilafsa na la programo la fe na puru prisoner mimbe kono gere se famu na fangali se makwe no ke karandi. They wanted to bring in programs which will help to empower the inmates. Para programo ying fonde taranga bula gero ma mira programo kera. But this program, uh, until I left, I do not think it ever took place. So, o sata ni na ko amanke hamon ay ay na nyaron ka follow la hamori no puru ka prisoner je o temboro. That shows that that was never the intention of our former head. Yeah, in essence, uh, the prison system was used only to keep people who are sentenced to prison. Munta o tembo kaso keta nyineti drong ni emen kitin di ko anyanta sorona kaso munyati drong kawluna ati ke sindi sindi lalaje abole nyamanu that was how it was would you agree that that was basically punishment and nothing else fo ibe son na nyina ko wo mu mo ka mo tilimbalia kululem drong wo kola femfenteng se la la ta wala ko ponis men wala wadi kadu ko e dula se hani dula se ngi nyaa nyaa wona hani nyin dula ni ya muta ya hada wadi wona fena ngi reya na fena ngi do ala nyantol ye ya balala drong anina adula se ngi nyaa nyaa wona anina 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 ni dia sot la gero i can say that yes because even here no matter how nice and beautiful this place is if you bring someone here and you keep keep the person here and uh, you value their rights they they will never be happy, be happy and there will be nothing for them uh, uh, and that is the point i want to come to the violation of the rights wolam kutin lafta futala damin kam molla nyanto lutinya would you say for do ibenyum folale ko that the prisons in gambia kasolu membe gambia jangotumo was used as a tool yake jorango letinu to punish political opponents ruka politiko nyo sabanyolo tilimbalia nzo fana fono le kadu ko nga kalamu tan ngene wato min e ka kaso to kili no five star hotel la no fa i can say that because we were aware at a time when the prison was being referred to as a five star hotel and uh, well if we call the prison the five star hotel just that just by itself does not mean much could you explain what you mean by what you've just said that oh. the prison was used as a, was called as a five star hotel and as such it was used as a tool to punish opponents could you explain that face you bonye nyoto demanding kadu ni ko kaso yoto kiliko je mu five star hotel let wala hotel four lingo what are saying amunta molem nyinti ko kaso lan ko lumen we ke nati je man sab kunda nyo saba nyo lu wotumo amunta ka wolle nati nu je bang pour ke tajire ya ko dalilo le ya fo akendi ika fo je en ko five star hotel fo amunta a wolem bang man sa kunda la e e kunu kumba jamal ngay gel ni jar fenan jela ni jama balla fo modi andi ke na fenan kaso ko nole many officials of government we are brought to the government to the prisons many of them passed through the prisons but that is normal in every society but can you explain to us how the prison service was used as a tool against political opponents i know you've used the label that it they used to call it the five star hotel but can you tell us how that so called five star hotel was used 
as a tool to punish people. Ha nga lon na utumu pour ka fo ka soye ko five star hotel bari lafta ya fo nyin ye woto ke joorango ti nyaadile pour ka nyo saba nyo lu man tora ke ka fo ko be kulu kanne ke tora ke naati ke dundi ka sola menketa itelu nyo saba nyo lti ya ke joorango ti nyaadile pour ka man toro la o molu kan e ka menu naati ji badu nga example dantang tandil alla coming allow me to give you a few examples coming ka jibero ke visit For instance, visits. Among nyantolti pro prisoner ina we kasoko no. It's a right of the prisoner. Bari certain groups all begero. But there were certain groups. Ni wal na sana kasoko no. When they came into the prison. Jani be visit sula kamele. Before they got visitors, it takes a long time. Andu nga insa afenge officer jamu afango begero. And uh, there were many officers. Ila e. Eh, Problem also in our own world, the Pruke Dema. Their problem lies on those people. For the, the assistance was reliant on those visits. The problem also in our world, the Dema Roma. The problem, the Kafu Ila Dokuola. Their problems emanated from those people. Kadu ko coming ka ike makwe dro coming kafu ko e molo miti muni alon ko e Dema Rodaldo. These are the people who are assisting them. O jama jama so te gedo official mi yalan ko e i di do ko ko just pour ka ni in mesol ma ko because mo no man sa ya nyalo e kan ne ko a jawol lo midi many officers got into problems as a result of that because they were assisting these inmates and the government had id these individuals as enemies but i would i would change the question a little bit and i'll take a step backwards perhaps, perhaps as a first step you can you tell us what was the procedure for admitting inmates into the prison say muna mu simfa foloti pour ni monati ka dundi kasola muna folo nyanta kake eh admission ko kenya min ning ye mo mo na fe na ida by police lo ba wala mo mo ya lan ko lu wale sembe ndu ya pour ka mo na fe nan kasoko no The way it goes is that anyone that is brought in, either by the police or any other security outfit that is empowered to do that. Ina kai di senangol na sada miyalo ka bo senang kiti bungoldo. And you come with your proper documents from the courthouse. Wala loud la fana fana miyalo ko isi isi ya isi mbendu lwa isi mbendu yale puruka o kai do si fadi. Or any other institution that empowers you by law to carry out such act. Na na ta na. When they come in, our work is such that uh, is that if they come in, they come in. 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 They come Then we give you your receipt and you leave the prisoner with us. Then process to mal wol sin tol sina continue wala. And then we would continue with the other processes. Uh, uh, that is that is the correct statement of the law. And in fact, uh, I'll just uh, refer to the prison act section 31 and I will read out a few provisions which which are really are uh, in line with the explanation you've just given. And section 311 states as follows do not interpret this okay. it says no prisoner shall be admitted to a prison unless accompanied by a warrant a warrant or order of detention by a remand warrant a warrant or order of detention a warrant of conviction or of committal or an order of a court martial provided that the child of a female prisoner may be admitted into a prison if, if in the, admitted in a, into a prison with its mother if it is less than two years old or if the medical officer of the prison so advises. And the second point you raised is in subsection two that the officer in charge shall verify that the the prisoner is the person named in the warrant or order and that such warrant or order bears the signature and seal of the proper authority and in all other respects complies with the requirements of the law 
that's how you understand mm. the procedure for admission, correct? Yes. Was this complied with between 1994 and January 2017? I come in Saying, in a in Sartol don't be get in a old Timatale Cargo, a Corsol Seattle, a professional bond, a Southern Fana Jamalela. Some instructions were adhered to, but there were many cases, and we had prisoners from different places. I took a prisoner received from Magistrate Court. Because we received prisoners from the Magistrate's Court. A prisoner received from Cardi Court. We received prisoners from the Cardi Court. A prisoner received from a and the district tribunal. We receive prisoners even from the district tribunal. But there were also other prisoners that we received and they came from nowhere. They were just brought in there and what we were told is that they were brought there as a result of an executive order. Uh, you've mentioned the various sources where you would receive your uh, inmates from. Yebunda Jamafo, Casol, Moluka, Bonan Daming, Ekamenunati, Ali Casola. And generally, these are the courts. Golem Dum Mensiata Jolem Kitibundalti. Those that came from the courts and Men the tribunals, <laughs> did they come or would they always come with a detention order or a warrant? Menukabo Kitibundal. Niwol Nataje, Inin Kaiti Saharangul Lekanaje, Kafoko Nyanta Tarla Mutola Konwala, Kaito Lukana, Lemeni Alonko, Leke, La Kulisene, and the Nyanta Kalanyami. Hi, Nia Kanale. Yes, they usually came with them. You have also mentioned another category of detainees who you say they would just come and say this is an executive directive. I want to concentrate on that category. Yanyum Fanam Foko, Ekadolu Nati Jele, Kafoko Nilide, Executive Directive, Wolem Banko Nyatun Kola Kamokang, Wolea Kendi Nil Nati Jan, a call after a Nyatilina Wubunda Lelasai. Who would these people normally be? Wolukaka Mojuma Nyoleti. Jama Jama, Ekake, Ekabana Fanaja Malela. Mostly they came from various places, even government workers or officials were there. District heads There were district heads that were also amongst them. Civilian We also saw civilians in the midst. We saw many popular businessmen there. We also saw many opposition members who are not in line with the government. We also saw religious leaders being brought in. And which institutions within the government would normally bring these kinds of detainees to the prisons? Mansa kunda la doku bunda jumale dunka wo kasola nka fasongulu wo mo fasongulu nati kana kasola. Mostly, they would say that they come from the NIA. Would they be accompanied by a warrant or a signed order authorizing their detention? They would Mostly they don't come with them. And even those that bring them along, who escort them, you don't even ask what their names are. Why? You will not even think of that. Could you take that answer again? You will, not muster the you will not muster the courage to ask them. They will not even give you the opportunity to ask them the names. The courts are officer. We have some records where you just write down NIA officer, except the the number plate of their vehicles. But you you cannot ask cannot uh, muster the courage to ask their names. Has any prison officer ever informed these people 
that you cannot just bring a person and dump the person in the prison. There must be some official paperwork uh, which would have to be signed and stamped by the authority committing the person to prison. Have you ever informed these people of that fact? Nilu menlo kawo mo fa songo lunati kasola je. For kasola nka doku la lu soton tale wala doku la soton tale. Men nene yo mo lu nyinin ka ka foko. Nibe mo nati la kasola jang. Anin kaiti sahari ngole nyanta na la jang. Me ya lonko. Alfaya sain me ya kango soto ka foko. Nyima ri nyanta na la kasola nyinda li la kari kang. For kasola nka doku lu soton tale menu nene yo mo lu nyinin ka. Menu kawo mo lunati kasola je. Jama jama ni bina umo na fanya ngi ni former director leka diamu follow. Mostly during those days when they were bringing such prisoners, they used to communicate with the former director. Then wasi na na ngai o kibaro di Allah koe be mo na ngam na fanya ngi ndo bara alita. Then he would come and inform us that such and such prisoner was been brought and you should admit them. O kamala ira hangi la kafai takela. Thereafter you will not have the courage to. Refuse to do that. Uh, who is the former director you are referring to? It is the director of Mateng Jumalam Wati Men Bejenu. Ah, do you know director Jamal Kolego Koro? But David David Kolira Watola. I worked on the, I worked under many directors, but <coughs> this was during the tenure of David Koli. Uh, this David Koli, where is he from? In David Koli, but I mean, Malo Abadami de Barai Koda Sura Kanilaile. I don't know where he hails from, but he has a compound in Kanilai. I call that also the New Yundum. He has another compound in New Yundum. So, in a sense, what you are telling us is that people were admitted into the prison in blatant violation of the law. Amunta benye na foka nyanko, eka molu nati kaso la ke soronje. Adungu ilawo soronya, amunta luati nyale fangumoti, ka o molu nati ke soron soron na kaso la je kaititeji. Se tamas jadi kirim fangod dia fang ofisa filemia longka be saya ngabe dok wala drug squad le dilek. I can give you an example. There was one officer who is currently working with the drug law enforcement agency. Kira be duty sila walung on mile two. He was on duties on that day at mile two. Ya mau na fe nang. They brought someone. Mia longka ya na fe nyama Kenya mang ma nyafa. And the manner in which the person was brought in was not very pleasing to him. Purukalo kafa mfengine dika tani la kuhani na tani mama yenu na mama andonga bila alhalo binya mama manyang. And for him to take the stance to tell them that the state or condition in which you brought this prisoner should not be. Uda malake na lahagi tiniadi. That was the only reason which led to his loss of his job. Ya samba ufoya amandora gele ba malo ma bari ya samba le bila na tani andonga la hajuna tani ya wole nyama. Whether he was tortured or not, I do not know. But he was taken away. But after he returned, that was how he lost his job. Oh, drug squad in Arata will do something to him. And until he was uh, recruited by the drug squad. Uh, uh, Mr. Mane, uh, you have explained the story in a way mm -hmm. uh, that you haven't said half of what happened. Tell us exactly what happened. Who was involved? Who was brought to the prison? Ako kuwa kete nyami ya ya banki baribitum imang kuwa besi ni ndi nye ya jumale nati kaso la wulung ane ni mari melo ra kafuko alieni nati nyami ngamani sahaya nilafta le yuo tu besi ni ndi men nati ane ni mari ai kuli jenye milafta hano fo ya kafuko inata mari samba ya samba nyadi le mune kifu ya samba ako ni nilafta le yuo tu besi ni ndi. Explain the full story so that we can all have a good understanding of what happened. Ako ni mbe kete nyami kabiri ni menati me ya nati aninga kulebe tamata nyami lafta yao lebe sata ya senyan. Yingu officer ni minga faleta tu mu Ibrahim Asise ledi. This particular officer I'm referring to is called Ibrahim Asise. Yingu prisoner minga faleta ngo mu lan tumbo tumbal the former army general of the Gambia kono yando. And the prisoner I was referring to was lan tumbo tumba former army general. Ilan tumbo ni nafe na kaso kono abenu kaso kono ya muri na kaso kono bara anata Kenya mi nyama amang thinke amang si se kundan. He was in prison, taken out, but when he was returned, his state was not pleasing to this man. Why wasn't it not pleasing to Ibrahim Asise? Kumuna na amar kaso langu ni mbiri ya muri ndi nang alataranya, kumuna na Ibrahim Asise mansio alakuala. 
Because the condition in which he was talking out was not the same that he was returning. What was it that was so striking about how he was taken out? Muneketa kawa kuoti biri ya samba ka murundi nang ala o murundi o nang muneketa kuoti me ya kendi hanfo officer nyimang la kuola manse wa kuola dal. Well, you you completed the question and 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 asked it in a more complete fashion than I have. Thank you very much for anticipating what I wanted to say, but I haven't quite okay, gone okay, that far okay, yet. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, what I am trying to ask, Mr. Mane. A call after many in color, Mr. Mane. What is the difference in his appearance from when he was taken and when he was returned? Nimari la fatam fanso ketamuneti. Ibas abiba sambala tu momeng abenyamima. Animbiria murundi na abenyamim mune keta fatam fanso tiji. Which was not so pleasing to Ibrahim Asis. Me ya longko wale mang Ibrahim Asis nyafa. Beringa beta nanga ba fambulu ba fang ba ala ala normal strength osoro. When he was going, he was himself. He had his normal strength. Ba bila na sen iba muni kana ba lang furinga man feng kalamuta. But when he was being brought back, he was weak and almost unconscious. Dying as a result of what? Muna yo dun sabu. I cannot say that. Ba ni fono wolo ngin deko coming la na tambule kira la kula. Uh, I, Mr. C, Mr. Mane, you know what happened. Just tell us the truth. Uh, tell us exactly as as you know it. Ite ya je nyaming, ya lo nyaming, ya nati nyaming. Unlefta yo tole sena ya ndi nyikatu, ni mwota ata kuketala. Tumando lu wairi amari inatale, abe nyaming at least si sobi nole menketala. Unlefta yo le fonye. Uka itinkwali adoro nese wa kusabu no? Well, that can only be uh, uh, referred to as brutality. He was brutalized in a way that he was not himself when he was, he was brought back. Are you saying he was tortured and returned to the prison weak and unable to, to handle himself? Amuntawale mnyintiko, biri ya samba ya murundi na ntumomeng, ya tajire yale hanufo, amantara afango la manaki boto, biri ya murundi na nkasola. Nzo ufo nore. That I can say. And why did Ibrahim Asisi get a problem? Sila muna na Ibrahim Asisi na atakole ya kuo sotoje. Ngalo wale mandiye, kadiko Ibrahim Asisi na atakole ya kuo sotoje. Kadiko nana atafambulu, nana atafaka soko na ntolele la responsibility mu. I think they did not like him resisting because he said that if he is to be brought to the prison, he should be, be able to be himself because when he gets into the hands of the prison officers, he will be under their control and custody. And if he happens to die there, the prison officers will be blamed. And uh, what was Ibrahim Asisi's demand? Um, Islam Ibrahim Asisi na ata mune kani ngate mune foye. Ko ata inyinta la katamambo ya wenyama. He said he will not admit the man because when they were taking him away, he was not in that condition. Ni lefta wale bitala le itai kaito lopta kaito dedai ya na faina. And if they wanted him to be admitted, they should go back to the hospital for them to get a document. Wale mandia. That was what displeased them. And then what happened afterwards? Ibrahim lost his job subsequently. Uh, but uh, see, for a lot of those prisoners uh, or detainees who, uh, who had political problems uh, with Yaya Jame, did they or were they brought with warrants? Wamo jamalu meni ke na tije menu ni ya jamu kule ya kulu soto yemu yemenu na tika sola waludung walufana ludung yekaito lu soto nebri be na tila bang in labanda tal walman taragiro unto wafala no kule na yole ni kaito na fena bari jamaa jamaa dolbi kero muni alonke ni kaito bika na nani the ones that came lastly I was not there I cannot say anything about them but in most cases they came without any documentation would you say that it was a tolerated practice at the prisons that the NIA would just bring prisoners and dump them there 
without any paperwork. Mosi ni mfoko, ni mukule tume ya lonko kaso la doku bunda sonta lale. Ena e ikamolo nati nati la jele drong ke fai fai la kaso la je endum ini 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 kai tibu kana walding kai tibu kana kulo mnyi tume ya lonko anata ke wole nyama kaso la je. Ha yes. And apart from this Ibrahim Asisi, do you know of any other situation when uh, admission of a prisoner was challenged because of the lack of documentation? Ni Ibrahim Asisi la kuokola. Fasi bo akalama ko ye modo fana nati jele me yalon ko officer men nyanta e nyanta di la melna kasola je face ke moti mem fanansi wo ku kilimu tamandi ko si se men ke nu me yalon ko asikola ya ku sabu je fo wo nyongo ne sotota jele hanna ke da je ma kala mota mo ko mo yo mo yo challenge do ka ko e e ka min fo do recording e kan ko e mamba fa ni nyaay tuule ko je ke borala le Okay, what I can say about that is what happened to Ibrahim Asisi became an example for others. Because as a Mandinka proverb goes, if a, if a, if a masquerade should kill your granny, then if you see another one, you will run away. And uh, the prison officers would never challenge the authority of the NIA or any of the security agencies to come and dump prisoners to them at the prison. Munda silanga na atake nyinti ko NIA wala nyin kanto ni ntangkada bunda doku la kote ngulu Ulu kamulu nati nati nolele drong Ini nkaiti bukana kamulu dundi dundi la kasola je wanya kaiti tije Yes Is there a rule on removal of prisoners from the prison? Fodu Sarto bijele bang eka molu fintindi dali sarto lumenu la ke fintindi kasoko no. Sarto bijele kato ko ni we prisoner na feka nang eka risido eka 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 risido drole ya dila kato ndila ko e puru ya ya bonda damendo kara ka ita dia wala ko ngaji prisoner frandi ngenta frandi la damendo. Yes, there are rules because when a prisoner is been admitted, we issue with a receipt so that you can present it to the office which directed for the person to be detained to prove that in fact the prisoner has been delivered to the right place and ni fana ni be prisoner fana funi la gele fana receipt kilimo fana bigele ko wala fana muta ya kuntu ye prisoner to safa bala ka tan di ko ye ni prisoner bondi ganne pour ci ni soma ni prisoner ni manna muru nang ni nata prisoner la ko ni ni kay teke ri fala ila o receipt lo ko ah ka ri la ni bondi ganni lu kar la a fele ala signe to fele in the same way when a prisoner is been removed a receipt is issued to the officer accompanying him with the prisoner's name written to the, uh, on the receipt so that if in future something happens to the prisoner or he or she fails to return, you can refer to that receipt and be able to know who it was that took the prisoner away. For, 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 for detainees who are in the prison and removed by the NIA during that time, would you follow that procedure of issuing a receipt to say that this person has taken out a particular prisoner? Wo tembo ena eulu kana menu dolu kama je ke samba fo lu fanalu e kaw receipt fason kilingule de da wulu fanali ni bitala bang fo dum e kaw ke nyadi le ena eulu kana lu roye ci kaye samba fo dum akake dile receipt o kade dale receipt o kade dale get receipts we are prepared but this would be at the gate and lu kake bunda lati main gate at the main gate and uh, and what information would be recorded sila e ka mun ki bar le safe wo kaytol bala men get book e book e book nya fula le gate daily occurrence book bi yele there are two books at the gate there's one on daily occurrences daily occurrence activity so ka tara wala kan comme minute ndana ndana wati jimale na ta minela on the daily occurrences is where the it is written who came in what their purpose of visit is ani ning receipt book ni ko fana o mo pour in mesolati comme mol min nata i kama gede kar prisina to sa pe wala bala ani min nata kama la no ba a sign and the receipt book also is for the inmates who has come to collect him or her the inmates name the the person collecting the inmate and their telephone number are you aware that a lot of the times the NIA will refu refuse to provide any details and that the only information that could be taken would be the number of the vehicle. 
ko ibota nyin kalamale bang to modo lu ena e ol kabalan ne pour ka kibar di mo e do ku lal ka men keno drone wolam ka moto nyin na nomba safe foy bota fo nan kalamale bang nga wala fo jan sain sain na buko na deli accuracy wala indicate jan to sain ka nga finance jama min ken na fen ko de nga gele ko moto la nomba da mal safe da bari mol mi nate ta wala nate sambanan wol to mantara gedo that is what i said just moments ago that when you look at our daily occurrence book you will see that inmates we have been taken out but the individuals who took them out are not named the only thing we found in the book were just numbers of the vehicles was that in adherence to normal procedure it or it was wrong fodum wonin sarto lu tata nyola le manke ta kutili ndundi fodum o manke sila sila tilindu manke sila ti it's not proper was that ever queried fodum molu sotonta le men yo ko wasi bang ama mo nene mo query nobody query that ever why munana ado ko kiri ngol doron mo mo be sila refund na it's the same thing everybody was fearful protecting themselves fearful of what ika sila munela kana na ke e client of the hotel star ni five star hotel on ndo so that you do not become a client at the five star hotel Uh, can you explain that how how would that normally happen for the custodians of the five star hotel to be made clients of the five star hotel o fanyen wo kake nyaadi le menu fanu mo five star hotel o maralalti e wol fanu kana ke nyaadi le wo hotel o dinguluti wo wol nga wo jama balgele we have seen many of those that jama balgele many many of that type could you explain that wo bonye nyoto ba kete akake nyo kake nyaadile nga officer jama sodo moni alam ke ne 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 di ten gele not from even not even from the court but from the director general or nga official gele moni alam ke di ten gele we had officers who were detained and their detention did not come from the courts they happened because the director general asked that they be detained and who which director general are you referring to umu director general jumaleti men me yo kamadi o kera david da mal time ola that was happen only during david's time uh, you know mr mane that under the prison act uh, a prison officer can be detained uh, but that would be only for a brief period uh, uh, which is uh, say for two days and it would be on remand conditions Are you aware of that? Malum fo bata nyin kalamale Mr. Mane ko. Hani pour kaso la kantala lu isi mutano le bara bu katam bi tilifu lala. Yo e katara wo kend ko wo tara nyale ma andu fo na ka keri man la ka karole la pour ke mutaje. Mange na kala riman la karo fo la fa ngen da kala special e fo ko di ga fo da ngen da kala in a CV form le. Comme il est confined to barracks for certain number of comme nga fo nyami wati fula bari nga official ceremonial ko e lokum fula so ka so ko no. Riman gere ni normal prisoner bi gero. Let me refer to the law. It says section 27 of the act. It says any prison officer may arrest without warrant any prison officer not being an officer of his own or of superior rank or grade who is accused of an offence under section 23 of this act. A prison officer effecting an arrest under this section sal fourth with bring the accused person before an officer in charge who shall cause the case to be heard by a competent authority without undue delay and may order the remand of the accused in custody for so long as may reasonably be necessary so so under the act under section 27 it is permissible to arrest and detain a prison officer but in remand custody for as long as may reasonably be necessary that is what your act says i'm going to just just interrupt you what does section 23 Uh, list as um, offenses section 23 lists offenses uh, that uh, that uh, members of the prison service may commit yes ah uh, okay let me let me yes uh, let me list let me list them out for you like neglect of duty without undue authority discloses or conveys information all the plethora of offenses that a prison officer can 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 commit say for instance 
call over a complaint or report against a prison officer and, you know, joins in making anonymous complaints and a host of them. So, so if a person, a prison officer, is accused of such a crime, the superior officer to whom the matter is reported could cause that prison officer to be remanded in custody. Uh, but was it applied as stated in the law or was it applied differently? Amunta Silang, Aka Menin in Katang, Walam Nintiko. I sartol menu be karanteng, kabring ilabunda mwan ni urola, kana bunda mwan ni sabanjamoto, konim prisin dukula e kuke, I menu fotem menketa e la sarto lutinati, hanfo ya kuo samba moya menna palaso beo e prisin dukula la palaso e santo, saying e wodumu kuleti meya longko. A Marie Sembo Soto Pruka, Marie Mutaka, Samari Man Fodung, and Yanta Tamala Nyadil. Amira Akabini in Gawling in the Kofo Akake Akakol in Yamabang for Mangana for Yolia Tamadi or Silo in Yamabang. Ah, well, I'm called Yaka Nyalamabang for doing Maki and Yam. Ah, no, Imaka Yam and they Nadi Yaming. They did not adhere to the rules because the way I see things. Munube no problem of Kone, Munube. All that uh, got into remand as a result of that problem. These were people that were high marked. They marked them such that even if they committed a very insignificant mistake, they were going to put them into prison. Just one last question before we go on break. The prison is divided into wings. Could you tell us those wings? Ambe ni ninkala ni ninkala rabang la janim bitha da hasutumola. Kaso ya talan 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 fanal leto. O fanal u fonye bang? Ha fanal le bigeto katu ni tada mile two. There are departments because if you go to mile two, eh ni tinta dro mara ten da min bigeto min bigeto volum security windi. Once you get in on the left, you have the security wing. You boda security wing female be attacking eh and just uh, attached there is an enclosure for the female wing and you also have the main yard remand is on his own on the right if you're coming from the banjul end mm -hmm. these officers you mentioned would they ordinarily be detained in the remand wing or in some other wing? Yeni officer lumenu foteng ni yemuta ike sambari man lebang fodung ike samba bunda kotengo lela meno be kono tonye. Ha jamal 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 ika wole sambari man le. Yes, mostly they were taken to the remand wing. And and others? Dolu dung dol bige to muni alenge ni samba security wing bari olmansia bari jamal jamal ike sambari man wing le. Some were there who were taken to the security wing, but they were not many. Mostly, they were taken to the remand wing. Would it be lawful, as far as you understand, to take a prison officer to the security wing? Follow him, ni lua tata nyola le security officer ni omuta puruka osamba security wing. Follow one insert full tata nyola. Under this law, section twenty-seven. Oh, lua nyin koto bunda muan ni ngoro bulanja mo section twenty-seven akoto. Among among yam, it's not proper. Mr. Chair, we. Take a break and we'll return as you would direct. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Council, and thank you, Mr. Mani. We will take a 30 minute break and come back at 12.10. Thank you. Meeting is adjourned.